goes after him. Started with a starching right hand from Riddick Bowe. Here's where Bowe's got to really pick his shots, but if he keeps this up, they'll stop it. Oh, what an uppercut. That's it. He turned uh, it he's back. Hurt. He's hurt. Fight's over. That's it. Wow. Oh, well, I'll tell you Four. what, he turned his back, he, he wanted to quit there, his nose is broken, it's bleeding Seven. terribly. Eight. I feel. Not too good. Oh, that it, babe? That's it, that's it. Joe O'Neill asked it. him, is that it, babe, and yeah. Tillery said yes. That's why he turned his back. He had there we go, here's Bo, bingo, just dropping his head and sticking that right hand right over the top. That was of course, it. Tillery standing up straight on the ropes, and he's, he's, you might as well just say he's through right here, but he's going to land an uppercut in here in about a second. That really does a lot of damage, and that's not it, of course. But here it comes. It's got to be coming up sooner or later here. He threw a lot of unanswered punches. Well, he's hit him with everything else but the uppercut. I think it is right here. There it is. That was it. Well, that that's really, where he turned his head. That put the icing on the cake. And here's the sharp vision overhead replay of the right hand. And then Bo will go to work on Elijah Tillery. I think his nose was hurt from the right hand initially. But the uh, uppercut certainly ended it for sure. But you could tell he was dazed here. Just covering up throughout. Not responding at all. Certainly couldn't have blamed Joe O'Neill. When he stepped in, the, I thought he was going to end it right then and there. But no, he started counting. Tillery and I'm glad Tillery said no I can't continue 99 of 100 times boxers will say yeah I'm fine turns his back there